Welcome to Highlights of the Ray Pickup Podcast, recorded at the Arts Theatre London on the 6th of May 2008. Hello! Hello, London Town! How nice to be here for the Ray Pickup Podcast, live here at the Arts Theatre in the West End. And we've got some exciting news that's happened. Wait till you hear this. We have been nominated for a South Bank Show Award. <laughs> <laughs> isn't that brilliant, ladies and gentlemen? Yeah, no, it's, a me- no, it's, not, it's not that. It isn't that. It was, uh, we have been nominated. No, not that. Raji watched the South Bank Show, <laughs> is what happened. It's, no, it wasn't even that. It was Raji watched Dora the Explorer this week. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, it wasn't even that. I'm making that up. Raji sold his telly this week. It's not even that, actually. Uh, he's been evicted. So, yes, yeah, so that's it. We haven't been nominated for a South Bank Show Award. Raji has been evicted, so that's good, isn't it? Um, but to discuss that, I know there was going to be a little bit of funny stuff here at the moment. We were going to do some funny stuff and introduce and that. But me and Ev sat down last night to write it, and we got distracted. Uh, so we ended up watching the EastEnders Christmas Party 2003 on, on YouTube, which, incidentally, Raji was fucking brilliant in, by the way. He was exceptional, and I only wish we had a big screen to show you that on to discuss that and all the other week's news would you please welcome my first co-host big fat ed gamble ladies and gentlemen <laughs> Good down. sit down you're being too fat ed <laughs> sorry are you all right Yes, huge and fat. You are, you, but you're not, like, but you hold your weight well. <laughs> you do, though. Some people don't hold it well. Are you all right? I, I'm sort of all I, right, w- yeah. I want to talk about that, what we watched. Right, okay, it was amazing. It was because we didn't brilliant. even know. We didn't type in Raji to YouTube. We normally do that. And then we thought, let's think outside the box. Let's put EastEnders, and then we'll just literally trawl through it. So much EastEnders stuff on there. Yeah. But then we found the EastEnders Christmas parties, and we were like, oh my God, he definitely did <laughs> 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 yeah. And we watched the 2003 one. Yeah, brilliant. Some people won't even know who we're talking about. No. Some people won't understand who this Raji person is. Do we have to get him out now? Unfortunately, we should bring him out onto the stage. <laughs> All right. For the boys and girls to, to gaze upon his beauty. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls of London Town, would you please welcome onto the stage little Raji James, who used to be on his tenders but ruined it! <laughs> it's Raji! 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 <laughs> Touch my Raji! Oh, touch my Raji! Sit down! Sit down, touch my Raji! Sit down! That's, that's politically incorrect! What? You've got pikey written on your shirt! You have, that is politically incorrect, you are being racist saying that. Yep. You are saying that you don't like the gypsies. <laughs> that is what you are saying by that, and you no. feel how uncomfortable that is in the room now. <laughs> that me and Ed were having a nice chat, and everyone, ha ha ha! Yeah. And then you come out with your racism, no. and you come out here, an entire section of society you condemn with a flippant remark on your teeth. <laughs> no. You've got a nerve coming yeah. here today. No, I haven't. You've what? got some front coming what? back here today. You've got a fucking. No- Look, God forgive me. <laughs> Oh, forgive, forgive me, you have made me do an F. Say that word. You, honestly, right, no, you, look, after your behaviour this week, you have got more front than fucking Blackpool, mate. God forgive me for saying that. <laughs> <laughs> you, have got, you have got more front than Blackpool. Oh, no, 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 oh here she no. is, Lady Blackpool. <laughs> This, this only is insulting if you make the link between that word and gypsies. So it's only insulting saying, if we understand what is it? No, if you accept that that's... <laughs> that that's yeah, yeah, some you... people don't get it, so there. <laughs> some people think it's a tribute to Ian Lavender. <laughs> <laughs> but... Right, listen, um, you know... Shut that door. Brilliant. Yeah, Larry, Gr- Larry Grayson, that was. <laughs> Brilliant. Sorry. It was distracting me every time I looked at you. The light. <laughs> Who gets distracted by a light apart from a moth? <laughs> no, <laughs> really... you are half moth. No, I just. I just... <laughs> oh god! Oh, are you a gremlin, Roger? <laughs> <laughs> Let's check if he is a gremlin or not. No, <laughs> no. Now we have to find out if you are, a gremlin, you are a gremlin, Roger. 
Okay. Raji? Yes. Do you remember you were in the Sunday People the other, the other week? Uh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Raji was in the Sunday People the other week. He's been slagging off Leslie Grantham. Right, we didn't... We, when we were uh, yesterday trying to write stuff... Yeah. Didn't write nothing. No. Um, <laughs> but we did. Surf the internet. Look at you on EastEnders. You were brilliant on the Christmas party, Raji. Shame, shame, shame! It was brilliant. <laughs> um, but we also found an internet forum. Uh, what's it called? Uh, Digital Spy. Digital Spy Forum. Who, oh, who yeah. have um, found out about... Oh, the internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Oh, I know that. I used to have my computer before I sold it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> they did, I've still got my computer, but they did um, a thing on East Disease Stars, didn't it? Anyway. Right. They, um, they found the article and they've been discussing it. Okay. What you said really? in that article. Because the people said that they'd done an interview with you, which wasn't true. No, it wasn't. They'd got it off a podcast. Yeah. Here are the things that people said about the article. <laughs> Okay. Kiri said, very strange, especially for a Ferrara to mock somebody. <laughs> Rosebud came back with, sounds like a nice person. You. Where's he working now? <laughs> TV honour, wait till this. Sounds like a real loser. Oh. This is all about you, Raji. <laughs> the EastEnders fan 01. Ha ha, I think that guy is still bitter over being axed. Leslie Grantham is a legend, mate. You are not. <laughs> <laughs> it evens itself up when we registered. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even going to read those out. They're for you to take home and look at yourself. Bad juju. <laughs> J-U, J-U. Um, I thought it was funny. Never liked Leslie Grantham. Odious little man. Simon Jackson. What about the ones Leslie criticised at the same time as the scandal? Spelled S-C-A-N-D-E-L. I think Wendy Richard, Shane Ritchie and Jesse Wallace were three of them. That, that, that is saying very nothing true. either. That is saying there were some people Leslie criticised. Here are some that it might be. <laughs> no one has backed you up there, Roger, at all. So, no, but he did. He criticised. So critic. Look, so critic. <laughs> Leslie is a prat doing stuff like that. I don't know if it is a rap all the way through. <laughs> he, had <no> respect. <laughs> he had no respect for other cast members and he thought he was the big deal. Glad he has gone now. Much better surrounding and unity amongst the cast now. You're not in it anymore, though. <laughs> Don't get cocky about that. <laughs> Merry happy. <laughs> ha ha! I would have taken the piss too out of the dirty old perv. <laughs> Rosamond Street. Are we allowed to say this next one or not? Yeah, it's true. Oh, okay. yeah, they can't get done for that. Rosamond Street. When I heard he had murdered someone... <laughs> <laughs> I took a dislike to him. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that perfect? Yeah. To be honest, well, he, I liked he, him, and then I heard he had murdered someone, yeah. and I took a dislike to the man. <laughs> I'll be honest, when I heard he took someone's life, he began to get on my wick as well. <laughs> yeah, fair point. <laughs> and then this person the next one said, Who murdered someone? Let's <laughs> <murdered someone. laughs> Like he thought it was you. <laughs> <laughs> Only you would murder someone and not get in the news for it. Really. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a good thing? Connie Beauchamp, who is the guy who took the mick out of Grantham? I refuse to watch the pathetic, abysmal period of EastEnders when they were in it. <laughs> <laughs> so it's, it's a seesaw, this, Raji, that's, isn't it? That's <laughs> and then the next person says, good on Raji, I say. I hope he reveled in Grantham's position, if you pardon the pun. Grantham's career has been built on playing the same type of character in everything he does. It's nothing to be proud of. Right, so they're backing you up, but I will tell you that that username is Umbongo. <laughs> <laughs> is that you? No. Or is that you? Honestly. <laughs> Pizza the action, good name. Leslie Grantham and Dirty Den Watts are soap legends. Now this isn't me saying this. <laughs> oh god, here we go. Raji James's lifeless, stilted portrayal of Ash Ferreira was probably EastEnders' biggest ever error. <laughs> That is harsh. The next one says, does he have an equity card? <laughs> <laughs> and then, Nana Sister is the last one to say it. A bit pathetic, really. What's this moron got to promote? Ray P. Got <laughs> Podcast Live! That's what I've got to promote. Brilliant advert there, right? <laughs> Should have kept it under the 30 second mark, in fairness. <laughs> yeah. um, so, Raji, coming up on the show today, we have got Raji proves or disproves the existence of God. What? That's, uh, he has definitely agreed to do that. We texted him the other day and he said he yep. would definitely do no, he that. Didn't. And he will, he's done lots of research. Yeah, he's done all your that. research. We've set no. you up an interview with Richard Dawkins, remember? We <laughs> left that message. We have also Richard got. Um, <laughs> we've also got the first episode of Rajison, which is about you taking over from Michael Parkinson. Because that job, that job begging has gone now. Yeah. We have got you taking over it, I and mean, we have got you a special guest who you're going to interview up, but we, me and I have written the questions because we can't rely on you making stuff up. No, but I'll get to ask <laughs> what? We've also got a section which is a rare Raji success story. Something happened this week, there was a success story. Bless him, he's blocked it out already. <laughs> <laughs> you're happy being a victim, aren't you? You don't, you don't want good things to happen. A good thing happened this week. It's, oh, it was a bad thing. A, good, a good conclusion to yeah. a bad thing. What I'm doing at the moment, Raji, is I'm listing what's on the show, and then you keep talking, right. which is what's <laughs> happening is that's making it longer. Right, because, yeah. Yeah, we've got Richard the Wanker. Hey! Hey! Oh. <laughs> We've got Raji stand up. Hey! Which 
Yeah, and we've got uh, speed dating if we've got time. <laughs> Ragioli! Yes, sir. Um, what have you been up to in the past week? Um, I've been busy week this week. Okay. See? Um, so, have uh, you met anyone interesting? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Well, not all week. No, I've had quite a quiet week this week because I've, I've been doing. Yeah, well, yeah, you said it was busy week. Yes, yeah, busy. Quite, quite a busy quiet. week. Quite a quiet week. Well, just because yeah. it's oh, involved. camera went off then, Raji. So the job centre have found you. <laughs> <laughs> now you're in bother, aren't you? I want to tell the story of your week. Oh, okay. Because I know what's happening in your week. You know week. some of it, yeah. Uh, now this uh, is a rare moment of sincerity. Now, here's what happened. Last week, when we recorded the podcast, yeah. you were you were a bit uh, worse for wear. Not, not in an um, alcoholic way, like no. normal. No. You were in a worse for wear thing because something bad had happened to you. Something horrible had happened. It yes. isn't a joke. Well, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, it's, it's horrible. Exactly no, like it was horrible. Like you were abused. Really, it was yeah. really upsetting. <laughs> no one's died or anything like that, right? No. And no one's ill. No, it's no, nothing it was like really that. upsetting. It was a bad thing to happen to someone, particularly in your position. Yeah. Uh, what happened was, Raji uh, put his Wii, yeah. as in computer game, on eBay. Yes. Just to get rid of it, get a, couple, you know, a few quid yeah. for it and all, got all that. Got PS3 now. So. Yeah, got PS3 now. <laughs> I don't care. You know, and your Wii, you didn't really play anymore. So you backed it on eBay. And somebody bought it yeah. on eBay. A gentleman bid on it. Uh, yes. What was his, what was his username? Uh, James101-2008. Wow. James101-2008. Okay. James, This yeah. is who bought it. Yeah. Uh, for how many pounds? 235 British pounds. 235. There was games and stuff with it as well. Yeah, okay. four games. <laughs> <laughs> Steep for a wee in that, innit? <laughs> well, like, can I just say... <laughs> oh, games with it? <laughs> two, I mean, all over two ton, that's a lot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> for a wee? Yeah. <laughs> I think Wii's not the character. I don't really care for Wii's. I, I quite, I've got a Wii. I quite like it. But I think the whole thing of because it was brought out as a game system to stop people from sitting down and yeah, yeah, just yeah. get them up doing exercise and that. Yeah. And yet the flaw in the plan is certainly me and Ed found this out. <laughs> <laughs> the flaw in the plan is is literally when you get a Wii, you spend the first half an hour working out how to play it. Sat down. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you literally but. sit going. <laughs> Yeah, I could do bowling like this. <laughs> <laughs> Put it upside down, you could do the bowling, and it goes really fast. They stopped you doing that now. Cause they is... stopped you doing it? What? <laughs> Has there been a white paper? What's happened there? <laughs> there's new... but by law? No, but there's the, why there's a resurgence in the sales of the Wii at the minute, why are they getting good prices still, yeah. even second hand ones? Yeah, but I mean, two tan. <laughs> it's fucking two tan, mate. It's a lot, in it, for a fucking Wii? I mean, I better have yeah. some fucking new games on that. Yeah, but... <laughs> it's a fucking lot. I'll tell you what, right, if I was going to buy a Wii, right, I mean, I'll give it maybe 160, 170, it's alright, what, thank you, go with two ton, mate, you're fucking, it's almost, it's almost like it's a dodgy geezer, it, it's, almost, it's almost as if someone just bid on it with no intention ever of paying for it. No, because I check other prices of other, the other Wii's we're going for, and because the Wii board is coming out, that yeah. there's a resurgence in, in the sales of it. Yeah, okay, so. a lovely story. Um, <laughs> anyway, the thing was, somebody bought it for over 230 quid, yeah. and um, you, uh, as an honest, upstanding member of the community, yes, uh, we're rather trusting of this person. They sent you an email saying they were going to pay a PayPal thing, and you were like, "Well, you know, get paid and all the rest of it." Yeah. So you got an email through from service at PayPal. Yes, I did. And it said that the payer has been approved. Yeah. Send the Wii. Yeah. Get a tracker number. Yeah. Send us the tracker number. Yeah. We will release the funds to you. Yes. Right. Yeah. Now, if you'd have asked me, I'd have said that doesn't sound right. Yeah. If you'd have asked Ed. Yeah. Which apparently you did. Because I said, wasn't listening. Yeah. Because <laughs> you know when you're on the phone to Raji. Yeah, I do. I mean, that's the end of it. Yeah, just off, just put yeah. it down. Yeah. It's <laughs> <laughs> mainly just sort of leave it there and then just do all the other stuff you have to do for the day. Anyway, you sent it. I did. You got a tracker number for it. You sent it. Royal number. Mail and all the rest of it. And, yeah. you, and you sent it. Later on, we uh, looked at the emails and in service at PayPal, there was a gap between at and yeah. PayPal. Yeah. So we knew you'd been ripped off. Mm, yeah, we had a we, no, we, it. No, yeah, we yeah, knew yeah, at that yeah, point. Because yeah, yeah. you spoke to PayPal, they were no use. You spoke to police, they wouldn't even go around there. They wouldn't help you in any way, shape, or form. No. You spoke to eBay, they wouldn't help you. Everyone said it wasn't their fault. It was yeah. yours, which technically it kind of was, but you'd also been frauded. Yeah. Okay. Um, and can I just say in my defence at this point that the email from PayPal did it, it looked really proper. It had all the logos. It wasn't. Yeah. Just like Do you know what? Right, it was in proper type. Yeah. It wasn't even in crayon no, or nothing. Yeah. Like, <laughs> like my emails. How did you think it was coming? Right. 
this is a letter of paper, right, and I'm not even messy. Right? <laughs> yeah, right, and, yeah, right, and even if you think that it isn't, and it, it genuinely is, right, this is definitely off paper. From PayPal at definitely.com. It is PayPal at the internet, so that would be <laughs> Yeah, no, it did look, of course it looked real, but yeah. of course it would look real, Roger, you were frauded. Yeah. We were like, well, that's just your fucking luck in it. Because, yeah. I mean, particularly me and you, over the last 12 months, have had genuinely shit luck. Genuine shit genuinely shit luck. Yeah. By anyone's standards, like, yeah. my car's been vandalised loads of times yeah. without people even knowing it's mine. But then something brilliant happened. Yes. Where the man who was dealing with you, this fraud man, James, yeah. whatever he's called, he said, he sent you an email saying, you've, uh, you've not sent it to the PayPal address, you sent it to my eBay address. Yeah. Right? Which, weirdly, was an address like three streets from your house. Yeah. Very, very, very nearby. Close, very close. Okay? The police told you to go around there. Yeah. I advised you against it. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> um, I was like, I said, well, the police should go with you at the very least, because I don't want you to get a knife put through you. I mean, yeah. funny as it would be. I didn't want... <laughs> I didn't want to end up doing charity gigs for you. <laughs> right? Yeah. Um, but you did. You went round there. I did. You went round there and you spoke to the next door neighbours because no one was there. Yeah. We thought, oh, it's fucking old and else. You know, it's going to go this. He won't get it back. Yeah. Then the, um, the gentleman rang you. He did. He lived there. So the man said, oh, I don't know why we keep getting all this stuff delivered to our house. I'm, yeah. I'm, we're going to send it back to Royal Mail. And you were like, well, no, it's my way. You know, I want to go and get it. Yeah. And give it back. And you arranged to meet him at the yeah. police station. Yeah. You met him at the police station. Yeah. He gave you your wee back. Yeah. You won. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking beat the fraudsters, Raji. Yeah. Or another way. <laughs> And, and do you know, do you know what the thing is as well? The genuine thing is as well. When I, when I actually found, because I'd said to you, dude, write it off. Yeah. You, you know, you might get it back, but don't hope for getting it back because you probably won't. Just fucking yeah. write it off. We, we, we thought it was end off. We thought it was. And, and the thing was, is when I actually heard you got it back, quite honestly, I was near to tears. I was, I was, <laughs> I was, I was it was, it was like fucking something's gone right. That is yeah. brilliant. And then within about five minutes, I sat in my house going, you can't even be a victim of fraud properly. <laughs> <laughs> He couldn't even send it, he had the address there, he sent it to the wrong address. He, the only reason he's won this is because he's a fucking inept human being. He couldn't even be a proper victim of crime. <laughs> But I did doubly win as well. No, you only got one wee back, right? No. <laughs> I doubly win because he had loads of other stolen goods at his house. No. And I've got all that. <laughs> No, because after we met and he gave me the wee back and everything and I went home. Oh my god, this is about Do you know about this? No, what? Fucking wait till you hear this. Because <laughs> you yeah, I told you. Yeah, this. I know you tell I forgot about it. Right. But... So after we met, about i I'd been home about five, ten minutes. And you were and, thinking you should get him. Some... And I was thinking what lovely people they were, because it was him and his wife. They were really lovely. And, <laughs> and I was thinking it'd be nice It'd be nice just to send him a thank you card, because you know, uh, and all that. And then the phone rang and it was them on the phone. Uh, and he was like, Can I just ask you something? And I was like, What? He said, Are you the man from EastEnders? And I was like, <laughs> and I was like oh, yeah. And it turns out they were big fans and, and that they really liked me in it and they were really <laughs> taken by the fact that it, of all the people on the planet that it was me. Uh, and they know, hang on, wait, wait. At any moment you must have just been going, I'm going to wake up in a minute. <laughs> yeah. I'm my life. I've got my wee back and someone said I was good on TV. <laughs> what is going on? Taking into account, you missed that then. But he just said, and how brilliant because of all the people on the planet who it could be, that it was me. For <laughs> so he said, if you gave him the choice of all the people on the planet, yeah. he wouldn't have gone. I think I want to meet Ash Ferrer. <laughs> Right, yeah, because I just basically want to say, Ray, sometimes I would like some time to myself. <laughs> Especially around now, like, we're doing the live show, so we are spending a lot of the week together. Like, maybe on a Saturday night, I would just like to sit down and watch Britain's Got Talent <laughs> without getting a call from you every ten minutes telling me what is happening on Britain's Got Talent. <laughs> is that what happened? Did you do that? No, what? No, no, you, you, first you texted me actually, going, Oh, Ed, I've got a brilliant new joke about a nose. <laughs> <laughs> a nose? Yeah, this is true. And I texted you back going, Well done. Because you have to be quite sort of, you have, you have to text him back, but not allow him to text something else back. But he always finds a way. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Because yeah. there's a comedian on Britain's Got Talent, right? But you don't normally watch, but I watched it on Saturday, right? Right. And, and I, I heard his joke, I thought, That's a really good joke. I'm going to tell it, Ed. Well, I'm not just going to tell it him, I'm going to tease him with texts for a bit. But at no tell point. Tell him I've got a well good joke for a bit. At no point so, was I teased by the, the whole situation. Well, you were. And then you were sort of kept texting me going, but you're really interested with this. <laughs> <laughs> you also said one back going, 
all right, what is it? And I went, oh, it's more in the performance. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted you to ring me. And you want to tell everyone the nice joke? Yeah, right, here it is. <laughs> um, right, went on a bus the other day, right? <laughs> um, and made this bloke scratch my nose. Brilliant. No, that's not it. That is near, though. <laughs> Because I can't remember jokes very well. I am so confused at this moment in time. <laughs> Can I just say? Oh, no, no, I scratched his nose. No, did I? I'm not. <laughs> Which is it, though? <laughs> no, because I. <laughs> right, no, because I know another. I know another one about a deer's legs. Oh fuck's sake! <laughs> this is a good one. About this. it is two deers. <laughs> but it is two deer. That is that joke. <laughs> I'm not telling it proper it? though. Is this like that film Big? Where we've and they buried him up the way. Never seen. Right. Out. Oh. Um, and there was uh, the buried him on top of the wardrobe one. Yeah, that was a brilliant one. Yep. You tell me that one. Yep, Robin Hood. Can't Hodge. remember it. Robin Hood. Buried him on top of the wardrobe, didn't I? <laughs> That's brilliant. right. And then brilliant. I said, why? Because that is the joke. <laughs> <laughs> no, but in the joke, you have to describe the thing of the arrow falling. All right. Flying. Robin Hood flew an arrow and then buried him on the wardrobe. No. <laughs> brilliant. I can't believe this is happening. Why am I telling you? But what is the joke? What well, you kept calling me about Britain's Got Talent anyway, going, oh, Ed, have you seen this? Have you seen this? I hung up on you at one yeah, point. Yeah, you keep hanging up on me, going, oh, Ed, anyway, I've got to go, because there is a fat girl with Ulu. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that one. Click. <laughs> <laughs> you could have hung up for that. Yeah. You can't hang up for that. That was worth hanging up. I wouldn't can't be been... going, bye, I love you too, love you too. Go, uh, go, 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 go. Is that how you normally... And she's got glasses on. 9.07am the other day. This isn't even about Britain's Got Talent. I was fast asleep. I, was... I just like keeping in touch. I don't know why I'm being criticised. Keep in touch with my friends. Can't you just keep in touch for a reason? Not because, and I quote... That text you've got is a reason. Just had a dream where I was playing guitar with status quo. But they only played songs from Tommy, and then I was having it off in the toilet with this girl called Bida, who I had a fling with years ago, then went outside for a cig, and Raji was filming an advert but knocked an iron on a dwarf's head and may have killed it. <laughs> Brackets, I woke up in the emergency of it. That is a dream that I had. Yeah, but why but do you why? need to text Because me? Raji was in it. <laughs> <laughs> and I wanted to say about it, and you weren't having none of it. And I, that, is a, that is a brilliant dream. What sort of brain comes up with that? What sort of person well, in the subconscious... Ends up playing on stage with stage. I can't even play the guitar properly. I was on stage with status quo and I was getting through it. <laughs> <laughs> it was a dream. But then, no, but I was doing really well, even though I knew it, it wasn't even like guitar hero or nothing. It was like real guitar. Yes, but it, and I was it? getting through it. I know, but I still came up with it. How weird is that? And then <laughs> I went and had it off in the toilets with a girl, right? And it was a real person that I knew years ago, right? And then I went outside for a cigarette, right? And you were filming an advert and I was genuinely upset with you. Because you were Why? doing it, I'll, t- well, I'll tell you the details of it. It was like, it was like you know, like, you like Maplin's loads. Yeah. The electrical shop. <laughs> <laughs> like, it wasn't even There's nothing wrong with that. No, but, it wasn't, but it wasn't even Maplin's, it was ma- they were called Maples. Right. And it was like a little corner electrical shop. It, was, it wasn't even like, but there was like loads of people, some people I knew and some quite famous people doing all adverts. And I was really angry with you that you hadn't told me what the advert was. And I was about to come and have a go at you and you're not denying off a shelf. It hit a dwarf on the head who was in the advert as well. And he might have been dead. All right. And there was blood gushing out of it. And I was going, oh shit. Shit, shit, look. God forgive me. And actually, <laughs> in the dream, I went, are they like normal people? Because right? it was a dwarf, right? And I, I didn't know whether the normal first aid applied. <laughs> <laughs> I was honest to God. An alien race. And it was, it's a good dream, Raji. And then I woke up. And then you texted me. <laughs> you still haven't explained why. <laughs> And then later on, I go back to sleep, 9.33am, I get a text saying, I didn't even wear jeans, I wore black trousers. <laughs> That's because, right, I thought it was weird. First of all, because you hadn't texted me back. And I thought it was weird that I was in status quo and I didn't even have jeans on. <laughs> they would have worn jeans, like bewitched without jeans. It just wouldn't have been <laughs> I don't understand why you get bothered by some things that are wrong in the dream compared to reality, whereas other things you're defending the things that were wrong. Why don't you sort your own fucking life? (laughs) (laughs) Why don't you start fucking criticising my life? No, sort your own fucking. No, you sort your life out first, mate, and then you can fucking criticise (laughs) mine. But don't come round saying, oh, can I stay at your house for a bit? Don't be doing that and then criticising my dreams. Just fucking sort your own life out. <laughs> right, Raji. Yes, sir. Next section we're doing. We have got you a job doing Parkinson. Right. So you're going to be Michael Parkinson, <laughs> right? Do the voice. No, you don't have to do the voice. Please, please, <laughs> no. <laughs> it's called Rajison. Yeah, go on. Okay, we've got your special guest. Okay. <laughs> do you get scared then? Little. Okay. Okay. So um, I'd like you to introduce a special guest. Okay. So do you know who the special guest is? 
You said the man that was outside. The man from outside, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so do it like you're on Parkinson. Okay. And you're introducing them, and you're bringing them on. Uh, we have written you your questions. Right. right. Do not deviate from these in any way, shape, or form. And can Be I ask questions as I follow up questions and stuff? <laughs> <laughs> do not deviate. I'll say it again. <laughs> okay. Do not deviate. Do you have someone who looks after you, Raji? <laughs> There we go, it's their questions. Um, do them in that order as well, please. Um, okay. They are the questions that you wrote, Raji. No. Yes, no, you definitely yeah. found them at your house. No, you Before just... you got flung out of it. You just... <laughs> right, so Raji, yeah, you... introduce the guest, please, now, thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, please welcome uh, a huge star of stage, screen, and uh, comedy theatres all over the world, Mr. <laughs> Harry Hill. <laughs> There we go, Raji. Harry Hill has a guest for wow. you. Wow. Hello, sir. Hello. What's with the pikey t-shirt? <laughs> yeah, so, as um, someone who is two-thirds Romany. No. <laughs> something I, I like to keep quiet normally. No, no, it's not, but that, How do you think I feel? They say, come on a chat show and he's wearing an offensive um, <laughs> I didn't know it was offensive like that. I just thought it was a play on the word Nike. And it was the, 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 under it's the funny bit. Yeah. That's what I thought was the funny bit. Well, it's the bit, if you can see there, Harry, the bit you can't see. The bit that says, that just is... do nothing. Because it's the kind of thing I get criticised for all the time. Oh, I, so see. I don't do enough. Yeah. Well, let me um, tell you. Pikeys don't do nothing. We burn tyres. <laughs> <laughs> Sell pigs. <laughs> we we <Pikes>. eat cats. <laughs> <laughs> For pudding. <laughs> Not even as a main course. So, um, Harry Hill. Um, <laughs> really in your face. Sorry. So, um, much. so have you seen East is East? And did you like it? <laughs> <laughs> East Enders. East is East. No. Um, oh. it's, it's, uh, who's in it? Uh, me. <laughs> <laughs> and some others. You're, you're not one of the McGann brothers, are you? No. <laughs> you're not one of the, the lost McGann brothers. <laughs> um, no. Uh, right, so, um, I, uh, I haven't seen East is East, but... Uh, oh, it's a show. Anyway, so how was, your, <laughs> how was your nan? She died some years ago, actually. Yeah. Why? Because <laughs> it's written. Um, so, so, what is the phone number for ITV? <laughs> just, just that I don't have the number for ITV. They right. don't give it out. It's only Ant and Deck have got it. They've only got half each. Half the number. <laughs> <laughs> When they meet up, they put the number together. They can't remember. They, they just read things off a, off a screen. Okay. Normally, they, can, they have to read things off. And then they've got the Shazam number, as it's called. The Shazam number. Yeah. So if that, that's what I need to find. To, yeah. to, right. If you can get Ant and Dick down here next week, yeah. I'll buy you a drink. I'll buy myself a gold hat. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, um, now, when you do that fight thing before the adverts on TV, Burt, do you have the same people every week, or, or can people or audition for it? <laughs> uh... Well, we, the one where, remember there was a, a fight between a lamb shank, someone in a lamb shank, it wasn't a lamb shank really, it was someone in a lamb shank costume, uh, fighting a hot pot. Yeah. Well, in the lamb shank costume was Lulu. Yeah. <laughs> 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 You're looking for a part. So I can't audition for it, is, is what we're you getting. You can audition for oh, right, it, right. but it's not on at the moment. Oh, okay. Why don't you come to an audition on Monday okay. for a show that isn't on at the moment? <laughs> Why don't you do that? <laughs> it's at I'll McDonald's, you... Raji, you have to do it. <laughs> I'm doing that it's again. McDonald's, that's where you have to do Got it. Got me with that last time. I'll give you this. Right, so I'll move on, because that links to the next question, which is, um, so how are you, Harry Hill? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. Ill. Well, I'm very ill. Why? Uh, I've got a bit of a headache now. Oh, okay. <laughs> I think it might be a series of, of uh, minor strokes. <laughs> I always think it'd be nicer to have a series of minor strokes than have one big stroke. Because <laughs> <laughs> then you can pace yourself. <laughs> I, guess, I guess it depends on who the miners are, doesn't it? Um, so, oh, 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 ruining it. <laughs> but a lot of people say I look like I'm Chinese, do I? <laughs> Uh, you do look a bit Chinese, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you. Correct me if I'm wrong, but you, don't you normally wear glasses? Uh, I do sometimes wear glasses. Yeah, and that's yeah. why you're squinting, that's why you look Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 
Thanks. So, uh, <laughs> when he doesn't wear glasses, he doesn't have contact lenses in half in. I do sometimes. He just literally yeah. throws caution to the wind. Yeah. I'm only supposed to wear glasses for reading things far away and like driving and stuff like Who that. Who reads things far away? Mm. No, like, <laughs> like if you're in a classroom, that's when I first started wearing glasses. Raji, you're not allowed in classrooms. How many times <laughs> have you been told? 500 yards. No, 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 no stop that. That's bad. Uh, so, Harry Hill, you used to be a doctor. Did you just say Halley Hill? Harry <laughs> Hill. <laughs> Hills. <laughs> no. oh, sure. I don't think I did. Yes, Largy. Um, so, Harry Hill, you used to be a doctor. Yes. It's not even a question. You have to go up at Sorry. the end. Yeah. You have to go up at the end for it to be Sorry. a question. Harry Hill, you used to be a doctor. Did, did you used to be a doctor? Did you used to be a doctor? Did you used to be a doctor? Harry Hill, did you used to be a doctor? Harry Hill, did you used to be This is like, hello, I'm Largy. Oh, God. Right, Harry Hill... Did you used to be a doctor? Yes. Did you? <laughs> Let me turn that back on you. Raji, did you used to be a doctor? <laughs> no. Oh, well, no. Um, so do you, Lisa Riley and Jonathan Wilkes, go round each other's houses? Ever? Yes. Would you? Yes. And what would you say? We normally, uh, once a year, we, well, it used to be we used to go round to uh, Beadle's house, but it won't be there this year. Um, <laughs> is, that, is that sad? Is that... It is sad. It is sad because, you know, there is a lineage there. First Beadle, then yeah. Riley, then Jonathan Wilkes, Wilkes. Jonathan Wilkes and then uh, me. So there is it, the baton has been passed down, and it is the first year that we've lost one of our own. So, <laughs> <laughs> so it's very sad. So if it was up to you, how would you help me? You? Yes. Well, do you have... Uh, what, is your, what is your goal? What? What is your goal? <laughs> Let me start by asking you what your goal is, and that way I can help you. Well, it used to be pay the rent. What happened to the dad character? He was deported. <laughs> uh, he actually wasn't deported. He was well, just that's stopped. That's all I read. Yeah, no. But he, he was just stopped from working. Oh, okay. um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we, we were hoping it would start a trend, but <laughs> yeah, no, there was a com as it turns out, and he was proved to have been completely. I liked him. He was pompous. very strong. Um, he was yeah. a nice man. Was he in East? Is East? No. No. I think one of the, the Ferreira family was a DJ. That's man. Ronnie. Yeah. Played by yeah. Ray Pantaki. And you always, to me, you always look worried. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe worried that you'd get the sack. No. <laughs> <laughs> Worried I that I'd know. signed the wrong contract was the uh, no. was the, the main. So now you always take. What well, my advice to you? Or is yes. your goal, Raji? Um, I don't. Maybe that's the problem. I'm goalless. Yeah, yeah. It's a goalless draw. <laughs> your career is a goalless. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only. No, that's fine. I'm only jumping on the bandwagon. Yeah, well, no. it seems to be going down. <laughs> and to be fair, you, you may have a fair point. With the podcast so, crowd. We're just happy to get a quote. Get a yeah. I'll tell you the, the bit of advice that I had. When, yes, I, sir. when I was uh, starting out as a, as a young comedian trying to get to work, I yeah. was doing a five minute, free five-minute spot in a club called the Chuckle Club, and Joe Brand was on, big TV star at that time. And I said to her, have you got any advice? You know, they wouldn't talk to me. They wouldn't I said, have you got any advice for me or someone starting out, Joe? And she said, get some telly, which was not all that helpful. Okay. <laughs> so let me say oh. that to you, get some telly. Okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll try and do that. I don't um, think this is helping. No. <laughs> no. But it's all he's got. This is, you're getting deeper and deeper and deeper into... Do you think? Yeah. Uh, so, you always take the mickey, but fun out of my old work friends, but which is your best one in programmes? <laughs> Your old workmates. Your old workmates. I'm assuming the question's referring to EastEnders. Oh, OK. People. So I was going to say there's very few that I don't be there. Barbara? Yes, Barbara. Barbara Windsor. Barbara Castle. What is it about the name Barbara that suggests Windsor Castle? <laughs> uh, <laughs> one for the young kids, that one. <laughs> um, so the final part of the question was, but which is your best one in programmes? In the programmes. In programmes. Who's my favourite on TV? Best one in programmes, yeah. Uh, <laughs> out of programmes, which is your best one? Programmes. He said it wrong. Oh. No. I like Freaky Eaters. It says in programmes. <laughs> you like Freaky Eaters? Yeah. 
Oh, so it's the programmes that, that itself yes, that it's they, asking. They did what sort of it. interviewer asks their guest to verify the question? <laughs> well, I haven't seen the questions before. Well, neither have I. But you do seem to have a better grasp of the language. And this <laughs> may come back to your previous... They did do, like, a celebrity freak eater once. They had uh, DJ Chris Hawkins, <laughs> who was on uh, Radio 5 on... Six music. <laughs> right. <laughs> and he had a freaky, uh, he had a, had a thing where he wouldn't eat any fruit and vegetables. Okay. So if you could develop, do you have any? I don't eat raw tomato or raw cheese. Oh, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> you're there already. But I can eat them cooked. Doesn't matter. <laughs> <laughs> Keep quiet about that bit. So I, can... <laughs> so I should write to them. Get someone to call them up. Get Ray to, maybe. Or cool. someone you know to call up and say it's a big problem. Exaggerate the problem and make out, be, you know, play hard to get. Don't look like you're desperate to get on the show because they don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, I did have to leave Deal or No Deal because I was... Well, no, you say that as if you were presenting it. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, went to, I went to a recording of Deal or No Deal, yeah. but that morning you'd accidentally eaten a tomato and had to leave in the middle of the show. <laughs> yeah. Again, not your best anecdote, right? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so uh, I'm selling a trampoline on eBay. What is a good price for it? What size? <laughs> <laughs> Twelve foot. <laughs> with an enclosure. Okay, it's not a trampette then. No. Uh, <laughs> Twelve foot circular with an enclosure. I was reading today about a woman who broke her neck on a trampoline. Really? Yeah, she went up and then landed on her neck. Ow. And was tetraplegic. So you, whatever happens when you sell it, get them to sign a no uh, accident, no comeback thing on it. Okay. You're gonna see, you're gonna see you. You've got that big twelve foot trampoline. Knowing your luck, you'll sell it on eBay. <laughs> you won't get as much as you wanted for it. Plus, you're being caught having broken someone's neck inadvertently. <laughs> broken <someone's> neck. <laughs> it's awful. Yeah. Okay. So um, that's my prediction. Thank you for that. And. Um, I don't like this next question, I would like to say beforehand. Um, you think it's, how are you going to photograph it if it's 12 foot big? <laughs> Stand far away. Yeah. Well, then it looks small. <laughs> maybe, maybe what you could do, Andrew. Maybe Put someone could... on it. Put someone small on it to make it look bigger. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe you could get on it and bounce. And when you get to the peak of your bounce, click, take your hand and get an aerial view of it. I could just go upstairs Google Earth. and... Go on Google Earth. You can't go upstairs, you've not got a house anymore. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, do you know your shirt is all wrong? <laughs> so it's it's not a so question. I suppose it is a question. No, I didn't know. Okay. No. What's um, your point? I didn't have one. I'm, I'm just reading this. Yeah. So I've started doing some stand-up comedy. Can you give me some advice no, about going into stand-up comedy and the best way to be good at stand-up comedy? Well, Get a bit of telly, that's my <laughs> Maybe Maybe you should start with just getting the telly. <laughs> Then move on to the... Being on it. Yeah. Okay, fair point. Um, so, c can I have... Actually, if this follows on. Can I have one of your jokes for my stand-up? If so, what is it? Uh, yes, you can have one of my jokes. Excellent. Okay, this involves you going in to uh, buy a pair of Speedo swimming trunks. All right? So you say, I went into a shop to buy some Speedo swimming trunks. Okay. I went into a shop to buy some Speedo swimming trunks. And uh, the gentleman gave me a pair and said, go into the cubicle and get changed. So the gentleman gave me a pair, so I went into the cubicle to get changed. And I tried them on, but they were far too revealing for me. So I tried them on, but they were far too revealing for me. Rather tight. Rather tight. Far too revealing. Far too revealing. So um, I went out. So I went out of the changing cubicle. And the gentleman said, how are they? And the gentleman said, how are they? And? And? I... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and I said, said they, they are, are a bit, a bit too, too revealing. Revealing. He's, he's Ed. Ed. <laughs> what did you ask for again? What did you ask for again? And I said, and I said, speedo swimming trunks. Speedo swimming trunks. And he said, and he said, terribly sorry. Terribly sorry. I thought you said. I thought you said. Pedo swimming trunks. <laughs> <laughs> Swimming trunks. Yeah. I wouldn't open with it. No. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, thank you very much for that one. So, uh, have you got any spare rooms at your house? <laughs> well, I'd just like to say uh, thank you, Harry Hill, for that. So uh, we're going to ha have a look at
at Raj's stand-up now. Right. And this week, uh, I wanted to make it easy for him, so I've said he can do a character. Yeah. So he's going to do some character comedy. It might be racist. <laughs> <laughs> it well, might be a character that, if people have listened to the podcast before, they might have heard it before. Is he doing that? I think he might oh, be. Oh, God almighty. <laughs> um, so, we don't know. So, uh, by the way, Harry, you can leave at any point. <laughs> this isn't a cult. Um, but if you do leave, you have to tell us why you're leaving. <laughs> um, and Raji? <laughs> yeah, they can't hear a thumbs up on a it's podcast, Raji. Raji, what, what is your character called? What, what is your comic called? What's, what's, the, what's the name of the character comedian that you're doing? Like if Steve Coogan was doing Alan Partridge, it'd be Steve Coogan, wouldn't it? Oh! Alright, that'll do. Literally. That'll do, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Yeah. fine. Um, so, so ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Comedy Club this evening. And we have a very special guest who's coming on to do his stand-up comedy for you now. And you've got two minutes grace, then you can heckle the fuck out of him, by all means. Would you please welcome onto the stage the fantastic... Oh! <laughs> you alright? Oh, no. Yeah. Good. So what I'm going to do is, I've um, got a story to tell, but I'm, I'm going <clears> to <throat> do it for the use of some characters that are involved in the story. I think that's best. Um, but I need, um, can I, is someone sitting there? Obviously not at the minute, but can I borrow that? Is that, can I, can I, can I What's he doing? Excellent. So I'm just going to put that there, um, so I can sit on that, and then... This is the same then. voice you did last week? What? This is the same voice that you did last week? No, it's not. You came on and went, you are right. You are right. <laughs> and then you went into your... Cheese on voice. toast, what's all that about? <laughs> <laughs> you did. Shut up. You did. You, can't heckle. you said two minutes before you heckled, so stop. There. No, <laughs> there's a watch, Roger, you can't look at it. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm going to start with a character. Um, some of you, if you've listened to the podcast before, you, you might know. His name is uh, Mr. Chimbonga. Hello! Mr. Chimbonga here! Hello! Oh. Oh. You see, most times when I say hello, all I hear is... Because I'm working to say yes. I do. That's what I do. Hello, it's Ray here. Oh no, you're thinking, what's happening? Why am I not listening to Raji's stand-up? Well, myself and Ed decided it would be best to protect you. Rather than make you listen to this, and the abhorrent things that he's saying at the moment, it is best to protect you. So what better way to do that than to have some nice music that we can listen to, rather than listening to Raji being all racist and offensive, and upsetting everyone, including, as you will hear when we return to the podcast, the audience at the Arts Theatre. I think that'll be him just about done. Now let's return to the action. Uh, uh, £1,008 a week, which is uh, £52,485 a year. Oh, my gentlemen! No, 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 And let's get the confusion and up to date. Oh, my gentlemen, oh. Do you know what I did? Get off! <laughs> <laughs> That's right, I hung up! Uh, being um, being no, don't, no, don't, because um, sometimes you can get away with it, ironically. <laughs> um, other times it is just genuinely offensive. <laughs> but that's my opinion. But uh, Harry Hill is, God knows why, still with this. Um, Harry, uh, the car hasn't turned up. There's your. <laughs> Um, so, Harry, uh, you just saw the, uh, the comedy musings of, oh... Is he coming back? I wouldn't have thought so. <laughs> <laughs> what are your thoughts? Um, well, if you've got an act, if you've got an act with a chair, but you hold a chair, yeah. bring a chair. <laughs> <laughs> Don't t turf out a member of the audience from their chair that they presumably have paid for to use in your act, because then they... That doesn't get you up to a good start. No, with that, no. With that one person. Yeah. I'm agree I agree with you. And what and happened also, to the rest of the people? <laughs> what? Why yeah. did everyone else stop listening? <laughs> <laughs> I think the chair was the start of it. Right. Okay, and then it just spread. Yeah. And then they, they could sense the, uh, you know, the, the disquiet <laughs> from the person thinking that their seat had been taken. Also, why is he shouting? <laughs> Why is he shouting all the time? Yeah, yeah. And he's got a microphone there which amplifies the, the and, human voice. Yeah. But he's only shouting when he's playing the Chinese character. Yeah, do you know what? I don't even think he was Chinese. <laughs> that is genuinely how bad it was. And also, he, he took the microphone off and sat on his chair in the dark. 
<laughs> yeah. These are basic stage crimes. <laughs> but what about the racism? <laughs> no, but what, what I was about... fine with that. <laughs> I, mean, that yeah. I thought the tone was spot on. <laughs> someone else's hands, that would be dynamite. <laughs> I think that is as good as a quote as he's going to get this week. Um, ladies and gentlemen, would you please thank Mr. Harry Hill, ladies and gentlemen! Raji? Yes, sir? Because I like you, right? Yes. I've decided to bring back a section that we used to do that you liked a lot, and I, me and I didn't want to do anymore. No. So I've decided to bring it back that section because you, because you were so keen and eager about it, and we thought, well, we used to do it like last week and that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so let's bring. We, we wanted to bring it back for you as a special treat because okay. we know how much you like yes. the Richard the Wanker section. Yes, right? yes. Right. This <laughs> is Richard the Wanker, and uh, this video I sort of delved into his back catalogue this week because I've. Uh, I've, I've sort of done quite a lo load of the newer ones. I'd hate to delve into his back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fucking horrible, wouldn't it? And I just think, like, if you're a real fan, you've just got to go back to the, the beginning. Like, it's almost, it's almost a prequel. It's, it's just such... It, I mean, the footage is rougher, but yeah. if you stick with it, there's some real gems in it. It's there. like them idiots that go and try and find series one of this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then they find it and go, this is shit. <laughs> it is mainly just Ray and Raji just talking. Ed's not even there for a lot of them. <laughs> Anyway, this is coming over Annabella's picks. So that's what? a nice one. Annabella. I am at Ray's house again this week, which means I have to put up with him running in every so often and shouting, Right, Ed, let's just have it off and get it over with. <laughs> After that suggestion, Richard the Wanker is a slightly more appealing concept. One second. Richard is relaxing on a flowery sofa, Johnson in one hand and single bollock in the other. <laughs> I don't mean he only has one bollock. I mean he is holding one of them. He immediately gives a shout out to Miguel and Annabella in Madrid, who apparently love watching his wanking videos and masturbate while they do so. Surely there are better things to do in Madrid. <laughs> Stroll along the Paseo del Prado, perhaps. <laughs> Lose yourself in an opera at the Teatro Real. <laughs> at a porch, soak up some history in the Museo Re Re Reina Sofia. Never, at any stretch of the imagination, would I arrive in Madrid Flick through the tourist guide and say, no, fuck this. <laughs> what I'm going to do is stay in my hotel room and watch an elderly man abuse his own genitals on the internet. Still, I suppose if you live there, you take all the culture for granted. <laughs> <laughs> Two seconds. The way he's holding his knob makes it look like a big thumb. One minute thirty. We are now shown pics of Annabella, which looks to be the traditional sort of stuff that Richard receives, apart from one photo, which appears to have been taken on a climbing holiday in the Andes. <laughs> Two minutes forty-nine. One of the pictures has come on it already. <laughs> Richard says, Oh, look, as if he has just seen a video of a squirrel wrinkling its nose. <laughs> Three minutes thirty. He has just said, Richard the Wanker, here to entertain you. <laughs> If Richard the Wanker made a genuine push to be Britain's next big all-round entertainer. In many ways, I've always thought of him as the natural successor to Brian Connolly's throne. I always liked Connolly, but there was always something missing, and now I know what it was. Explicit wanking. Four minutes five. He has just lubed up his cock. I have nothing funny or witty to say about this. It happened, I had to watch it, so I'm going to make all of you think about it as well. <laughs> 4 minutes 37. He has asked us if we enjoyed the wank he did last night, which was when he came in his own mouth for Sean and Gina from Miami. Oh! oh yes, Richard! Of course we did! How could we forget that classic? It was a real water cooler moment of last night's broadcasting. I'd imagine playgrounds and offices around the country this morning are thronging with the pulp pop culture war cry of, Hey, did you see Richard come in his own mouth last night? Oh, you missed it? It's alright, the BBC will have it on iPlayer. <laughs> Five minutes ten. Ray has just come in and asked if I think he would be a good goalkeeper. <laughs> I think I would. <laughs> Seven minutes fifteen. <laughs> Seven minutes fifteen. Cowabunga! Welcome to Spunk City, population Arabella. <laughs> 
He seems to spunk more than usual this week and comes over a larger surface area of the page, crumpling it as he goes. Perhaps he has finally worked out that what he is doing is actually a rather nifty way of making paper mache. <laughs> At least his wanking would be worth it if at the end of it he made a snazzy tribal mask. <laughs> Eight minutes one. I think he just farted. <laughs> Eight minutes forty-seven. Eight minutes forty-seven. There is a large amount of time where Richard winds down, mentioning how awesome his wank was, as well as reminding us to take care. A bit like Jerry Springer's final thought, except it is not in America and his knob is out. <laughs> until next time, R Richard, until next time. So there we go, that's another one. Hey, oh, hey. Did you enjoy some Raji? Yeah. I'll tell you what we didn't do from last week. What? Raji rap battle. <laughs> <laughs> you must do a rap battle last week, do you remember? No. We did say it. No, we actually yep. did say yeah, it generally yeah. in the podcast. Remember? You have to do a rap battle. Even if we didn't say it last week, okay. you have to do it because okay. we are in charge of you. Yeah. My memory's gone. So you agreed to a rap battle, so, so sing us out. Here is Roger James doing his rapping. Go! What are you talking about? <laughs> Sum up, sum no, up, like, a rhyme, Roger. about what, you, what you've enjoyed. <clears throat> yeah, about the podcast today. <laughs> uh, a good way to start a rap, I always find, um, is, my name is Raji, and I'm here to say. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and if you want to follow that up with, I'm the rappingest guy in the whole UK, you can yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you, you do start it off? No, you've been started off yeah. now. Go on. Right. Action. <laughs> My name is Raji and I'm here to say that I'm the biggest rapper in the UK. I'm here doing a podcast with Ed and Ray and it's going quite well and it's not at all gay. So today we... Why would be wrong with being yeah. gay? Nothing. <laughs> Just Don't round get into Ray. that You saw, what, you happened. Say you it's saw not gay. what happened to Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> I get told off for the same stuff they do, and every now and then Ed likes to have a poo. He often... <laughs> oh, you've, you've rhymed do and poo. How well, clever. Well, I'm... Oh, oh, drive by, yeah. drive by. There we go, in the show. Drive by, drive by, it's finished. Drive by. <laughs> no. Well, it's almost the way that you see someone with some talent coming through. So early in his career yeah. as well. Shut what down. <laughs> Shut down at his peak. Young kids <laughs> out the ghetto and that. And then... <laughs> You take well, these kids from downtown Portsmouth. Yeah. <laughs> Come out to fancy London, giving it all this, <laughs> point out, pow pow. <laughs> Down he goes, end of story. Um, so there we go, that's in the show. Uh, I would like you to thank, um, en masse, uh, Mr. Harry Hill, our special guest today. <laughs> you are also entertained in the loose sense of the word by little Roger James, he's been his tennis, but really good. <laughs> Hosted by Chortle.co.uk. Thank you to the Arts Theatre for hosting us as well. And that is the very end of this show. We shall be back next week. Thank you for coming. Thank you, audience. Good night. Good night. The Ray Pickup Podcast was recorded live at Arts Theatre London on the 6th of May 2008. Hosted by Chortle.co.uk. It was performed by Ray Peacock, Roger James and Ed Gamble. The production coordinators were Laura Barron, Alice Cadogan and James Taylor, and the technical operation was by Simon Streeton. The Ray Peacock Podcast is a big enough production, edited and produced by Ian Bosworth. For tickets and details of the remaining shows on 13th of May and 20th of May, please visit artstheatrelondon.com. Dear ITV, Hello! <laughs> it is Raji and James here now, thanks doing a letter to that trick you. <laughs> I rather cleverly sent it in the pocket of your flagship entertainer man, Benny Hill. <laughs> so to make sure that you definitely got it, because I think my postman is well dodgy. I've not had a check for ages and he looks like he's got new shoes. <laughs> the postman, not Benny Hill. <laughs> anyway, the reason that I have gone to all this trouble, and I don't mind because it is for a good cause, which is my career, is that I was thinking that I could be in one of your telly programmes at some point, thanks for a bit. <laughs> I really think I could be well good at doing things like presenting You've Been Framed because I can talk as well. <laughs> also, speaking of You've Been Framed, I was framed once, but for the record it wasn't even me, she was lying, so that is another reason I would be good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I have also... I have also...
also spoken with Ariel, and he said that he doesn't mind if I take over on doing this programme and also the TV burping one, which is, which is well nice of him, in my opinion, for what that's worth. Probably nothing or loads. Probably the first one, actually, sadly. <laughs> I always knew I would be well good at it, even when I was a baby. <laughs> because A, I am well good at doing burps. I just did one now to prove it, but I forgot that this is a letter LOL times infinity. <laughs> and B, because I often speak to the telly when it is on and say well funny things. Why? Only this afternoon when Loose Women came on, I shouted fuck off really loud. <laughs> Tell it and then I laughed for ages. <laughs> <laughs> the next door came round and said, Excuse me, we have got a baby asleep, but I couldn't think of anything funny to say, so I just said sorry. And they sort of nodded, but you could see they were still angry with me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've got to go now because there is a bloke coming around with a new fridge or something this afternoon. But before I go, how about you hear my impressions so I could do an impression show? No? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Britain's Got Talent. Hello? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> I think they've gone. <laughs> Hello? <laughs> Hello, it's Roger. <laughs>